たスマートセンターからの情報によりますと僕は 100% 充電完了しています電力は全て太陽光発電から供給されました現在の車内は31度ですプレ空調しますか車内を26度に設定えそれから渋滞を回避した会社までの最速ルートを頼む車内26度で空調システム作動します現在品川インター付近が4キロの渋滞となっており豊田様が通過する頃には7キロほどの渋滞が予想されますので国道1号線首都高速ルートをご案内いたします君マイディーラー担当ディーラーの東西トヨタ品川店へおつなぎします。お電話ありがとうございます。豊田様でいらっしゃいますね。本日は一万五千キロ点検のご予約の件でよろしいでしょうか。はい、そうです。土曜日の三時頃はどうかな。土曜日の三時ですね。かしこまりました。ダイヤグ情報によりますと、車両システムには特に問題ありませんが、空気圧は確認した方が良さそうですね。ではお願いします。オートデリバリーモードご注意くださいませ予約ナンバー018のお客様どうぞお帰りなさいカムリ様ご利用はご自宅までですねそうだよマイエージェント予定ルート上に渋滞はありませんいつものコンビニエンスストアによりますかそうするか到着予定時間に合わせて部屋のエアコンをオンにしますありがとうどうぞ制約まもなく合流やったー<笑>もうさっき言っちゃうんだもんごめん<笑>ハームをリリースしようあ、そっかオートリターンモードご注意くださいませ今日はそろそろ帰るかなマイエージェント今から帰るよ了解しました1階のステーションにハーモを待機させます予約ナンバー9セロピありがとう。コネクテッマイエージェント、今。マイエージェント、タイムトゴーホーム。I may sound a little different to the video, but I am Shigeki Tomoyama of Toyota Motor Corporation. Thank you very much for attending our Connected Strategy Briefing today. With the advancement of IoT, Cars are now connected to the network, and we are able to enjoy a wide range of services. Meanwhile, the spread of connected cars is causing major changes in car usage, as has been the case with ride sharing and car sharing. Furthermore, the big data gathered from cars offers the potential to create new services and businesses. The connected platform that includes this information infrastructure is becoming a very important business base for auto manufacturers. Toyota began expansion of connected cars at an early stage with the practical application of an onboard data communication module, or DCM, in 2002, which was then installed as standard in Lexus models and rolled out to North America and China.
In 2011, we established our cloud center, the Toyota Smart Center, which will be the foundation of our connected car initiative. For example, with Lexus G-Link, we provide a range of Toyota original services, such as contacting emergency services when the airbags deploy, theft deterrent services, automatic update of map data for navigation systems, and an operator service. In addition to this, we use big data collected from cars to generate Toyota's unique T-probe traffic information, which gives us directions to avoid traffic congestion, and for our predictive information service, warning the driver of accidents and congestion in advance. For reference, these are the results of the JD Power Japan Customer Satisfaction Survey for navigation systems. Lexus is ranked first among luxury brands, and Toyota is ranked first among mass retail brands. You can see that Lexus is rated much higher than any other brand. In fact, the results have been this way for five consecutive years, ever since the survey began. We believe that our connected services like standard installation of DCM, automatic map update, and the operator service have contributed to this result. In anticipation of and preparation for a true connected car era in 2020, Toyota established the Connected Company in April this year. Prior to this, strategic planning, onboard module development, infrastructure development, and so on existed independently with different executives in charge. Now all of this has been consolidated, enabling simple and swift decision making. Also, as president of the connected company, the corporate IT and the business development groups have been brought together under my control, meaning that we can move forward with an integrated strategy from connected product development to business innovation and new business establishment. The mission of this connected company is to create new appeal and new value through connected cars with speed and footwork that exceeds the customer's expectations. We will expand the value chain that this produces to contribute to the development of a mobility society. We thereby aim to create new business and revolutionize the automotive industry. Looking at the company's strategy, we have three arrows in our quiver. The first arrow, to ensure all cars are connected and to complete the connected platform that is the information base for this. The second arrow, to promote use of big data based on this platform and to revolutionize Toyota's business itself, while at the same time contributing to our customers and to society. The third arrow, also based on this platform, to collaborate with various different industries and IT companies to produce new mobility services. And please understand, Oh, sorry. The key for the first arrow, connecting all cars, is the data communication module. Uh, Toyota has already announced that it will standardize DCM globally by 2019, and by 2020, DCM will be installed in almost all passenger cars sold in Japan and the United States, with sequential expansion to other major markets. Ahead of this, we are building a global communications platform together with KDDI. The DCM and the center will be automatically connected via selected telecommunications providers in each country and region using vehicle location information, and the platform will comprehensively monitor the state of communication. In addition, we have established a new company, Toyota Connected, in North America in partnership with Microsoft to collect and analyze big data gathered from cars and to promote its usage. Toyota Connected will operate the uh, Toyota Big Data Center, TBDC, and will conduct R&D for the utilization of big data. This company is already working closely with the Artificial Intelligence Research Facility, TRI, established earlier. 
At the same time, we believe that collaboration with other OEMs is vital to handle the large-scale development and promote adoption of a next-generation onboard OS. Toyota has decided to adopt AGL, or Automotive Grade Linux, and is collaborating with the AGL Consortium on development. Also, for operation of smartphones through the vehicle's interface, so-called smartphone connectivity, Toyota plans to adopt the open framework Smart Device Link, or SDL, which has been advocated by Ford. Smartphone applications based on SDL can be safely operated using the car's onboard interface. Next, the second arrow is the creation of new value and business revolution through big data. Toyota has already begun practical application of a big data traffic information service. This, for example, shows the DCM-equipped connected cars currently, and I mean right now, traveling within a five-kilometer radius of the Imperial Palace in Tokyo. Red indicates cars that have stopped, and as the mark changes to blue, the faster the car is traveling. Can you see the cars moving? Speed distribution for the displayed area is shown in real time in the graph on the lower right. Now we will zoom out to a 20-kilometer radius. If we display the speed distribution graph in the lower right, we can see that within this area there are about 4,000 connected cars on the road. If we move the map, the display changes like this. If we then display this as traffic information, it changes like this. The Toyota Smart Center gathers information from all connected cars nationwide. So, in essence, Toyota has a real-time traffic information center that covers the entire country. Analysis of this data has made a large contribution to rescue activities by showing passable roads following earthquakes, for example. Now, this is the record of travel by connected cars in Sapporo City for October 20th. Now, when this data is processed, we see these red lines. Do you know what these mean? And by the way, the first snowfall in Sapporo, Sapporo occurred on that day, October 20th. The red lines show roads that are frozen over. How do we know that they're frozen? The system uses the external temperature sensors of vehicles traveling on the roads, ABS activation, and sudden changes in speed at that time to identify the risk of frozen roads. It then sends a warning to connected cars traveling that road. Like this, Toyota itself and Toyota dealers have begun using this data in addition to services already provided. For example, we have started utilizing the data to produce ever better cars by providing feedback based on driving data to Toyota's design and quality control divisions to promote quick detection and response to market problems. Also, with big data, we can predict failure and the need for maintenance for individual vehicles to encourage owners to take their vehicles to dealers for servicing. We are also planning to start an e-care service whereby, when a warning lamp lights up, we can remotely diagnose vehicle data and provide the appropriate support. Looking to the future, we are also progressing with research to provide more advanced driving services by gathering image data from onboard cameras to generate dynamic maps that show things like congestions for each lane and obstacles on the road. Furthermore, as shown in the video at the start, in the cockpit, we are already working on development of an AI agent that sufficiently understands the driver from big data and will always be by the driver's side to support safe and comfortable driving. The third arrow is to create appealing mobility services. The key to this will be the mobility service platform. As I have already said, 
all Toyota and Lexus connected cars are linked to the uh, Toyota Smart Center, offering services for safety and peace of mind and driving support services. We also plan to use OTA wireless transmission to automatically update onboard software. The Toyota Smart Center contains the Toyota Big Data Center, which accumulates data, and is also linked to the Finance and Payment Center of to Toyota Finance. Uh, above all of this will stand the MSPF, or Mobility Service Platform. Through the MSPF, Toyota hopes to engage in open collaboration with various companies and services to contribute to the creation of a new mobility society. In other words, Toyota hopes to create a new growth strategy as a mobility service platform provider. As a first step, Toyota established TIMS or Toyota Insurance Management Solutions USA in North America. In North America, telematics insurance linked to driving distance and behavior is growing each year and is expected to account for 40% of automobile insurance market in the future. TIMS is a new business unit that provides a number of insurance companies with solutions needed for telematics insurance linked to vehicle data. Specifically, it provides partner insurance companies with driving behavior scores for contracted drivers based upon vehicle big data gathered by the Toyota Big Data Center. Using this, any insurance company can easily create telematics insurance products for Toyota and Lexus vehicles. Next, we are focusing on the spread of ride-sharing in North America. Toyota and Toyota Financial Services have developed a flexible lease program to lease cars to customers and deduct their monthly lease payment from the income they earn as ride-share drivers. In North America, car sharing between individuals is increasing, similar to ride sharing. It is said that individual car share members will exceed 10 million by 2020. One issue in the realization of safe, convenient car sharing is handing over the key. To date, handover has been done in various ways, including leaving the key itself in the console box or connecting a special transmitter to the car's CAN or controller area network. But with the first, there is the risk that the driver will take the key, and with the second, there is the concern about hacking from an external source. In both cases, the vehicle must be modified and there are problems with cost and quality assurance. Consequently, Toyota developed a smart key box, or SKB, to enable safe and secure key handover for car share operators. Simply by installing the SKB in the car, it is possible to safely lock and unlock the doors and start the engine using a smartphone without any modification of the vehicle. How this works is the Toyota Smart Center sends an encryption key for SKB access to the customer's smartphone. And when that smartphone approaches the car, the SKB responds and the encryption key is authenticated. In this way, it is possible to operate the car's key using that smartphone. A pilot service utilizing SKB will be jointly launched with a North American company, GetAround, in January next year. This venture company operates a car share service for individuals focused on major North American cities. And this partnership provided an opportunity to invest in the company through the Mirai Creation Investment Limited Partnership. With this partnership, we will offer a lease program whereby customers can lease a vehicle from Toyota Financial Services and have the monthly lease payments deducted from their car share income. In Japan, a Toyota is considering partnership with corporations, including a Toyota rental car and other rental and car share operators. In Japan, 
Toyota will also collaborate closely with taxi operators, which provide a form of public transport so that people can use them more conveniently and effectively. Specifically, Toyota will work with the Tokyo Higher Taxi Association to install translog a transmitter type drive recorders in 500 vehicles in the Tokyo metropolitan area to gather vehicle data and actual images taken while traveling to enable more effective vehicle distribution with the intention of offering a high level driving support service for future taxis. We plan to use this big data to develop new services for taxi operators and to develop next generation taxis. So far, I have given an overview of Toyota's Connected strategy. Next, I will explain our Connected service for the new Prius PHV. The DCM will be fitted as standard in almost all grades of the new Prius PH PHV, and customers can use the service free of charge for three services. The new Prius PHV will effectively be the car that leads the charge for Toyota's Connected strategy. For example, customers will be able to access their car by smartphone, check the car's charge status, and operate, it, operate the air conditioning to heat or cool the cabin before entering the vehicle. Among others, e-care service utilizing big data is a revolutionary safety service of the IoT era. For example, when a warning lamp lights up, the Toyota Smart Center can immediately analyze the vehicle's data to automatically deduce the cause of the problem, decide whether the vehicle can continue to be driven, and generate appropriate advice. This diagnostic data will also be shared with the service advisor at the customer's dealer and with center operators to enable them to give real-time support to customers. In addition, we plan to implement a service where the system will analyze the vehicle's big data, and if the system predicts trouble in the customer's car, send a notification via email and encourage the customer to take the vehicle in for servicing even before a warning lamp lights up. eCare service realizes our wish that customers can use their cars anywhere, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, with peace of mind. As a mobility service platform provider in partnership with ride-share and car-share operators and also with the e-care service of the Prius PHV, Toyota Connected will bring about a new era for us. With Connected, Toyota will move beyond being a company that just makes millions of cars per year to become a company that creates millions of touch points with customers and companies around the world year after year. Beyond that, we hope to create an exciting mobility society offering convenience and peace of mind. For the good of Japanese monozukuri, we must forge a new path for the manufacturing industry in the IoT era. I look forward to the continued support of everyone here today. Thank you for your attention.